You're listening to Force Fed Digital. BXU Heard. Oye, mi gente, que lo que hay. Yo, what's good, my people? Welcome to the Art of Bounce. I am Ralph Anthony Garcia, also known as R4. The Art of Bounce is a show where former bouncers such as myself and other current workers of this field, whether it's being a security guard, fire guard, lifeguard, correctional guard, you name it. It's all about safety and security and what one might be going through as far as traumas and all kinds of other shell shock and PTSD dealing with a very dangerous job such as this one. Now today, I will take you across the Hudson from one side to the other side. Let's take it back to 2004, all right, y'all? And with that being said, folks, please be so kind as to tell somebody, hey, follow that guy over there, right here on Force Fed Digital and the United Ronin Networks. You can find this program wherever you tune in to your favorite podcasts. And also, go to YouTube. You can find me there on the United Ronin Networks as well as the Art of Bounce's own channel. Ladies and gentlemen, why don't we begin this adventure by strapping up, buckling our seatbelts, making sure we're nice and tight, and then we can go. Eh, no, we're not going to a club today. We're going to go train. Now, buckle your seatbelts, and let's listen in. Hey, what do you say? Are you having a great day? Let's hope so. We're about to tune in to the Art of Bounce in conjunction with Force Fed Digital and the United Ronin Networks presenting the Art of Bounce where we can discuss our ideas, our traumas, our fears, whatever it is we hold dear and other experiences. Now, let us traverse back to 2004 and take you up to my old dojo on the Hudson in northern Westchester, upstate New York. This was a funny situation, man. This day, this particular day, started in New Jersey, all right? My brother Vlad, he a uh, well-known barber. You know, he gets asked to go all kinds of parts of town for him to lend his superior mastercraft. And this was no different. This was in, I know it was somewhere in New Jersey, North Bergen or Jersey City, one of those. Now, as we were leaving, day was up, you know, I, I usually go over there every month, go see my bro and get the fresh cut. He always blesses me whenever it's his time to go and he's about to leave and he got a little time. He'll put me on his chair and give me the fresh cut. Now, he tells me that his best friend, Richie's coming to pick him up. I'm like, what? Cool. And rich. Way, way, way. You know what I mean? You know, we have our ways. Anyways, so my boy Way Way, uh, he's on his way to New Jersey. Mind you, I love my dude Way Way. You know what I'm saying? But he's a speed demon. And I'm gonna explain this much further down the line. You trust me. But this guy, I, I just don't know. He's wild. He's a wild boy. But he's my brother's best friend, and there's got to be a reason for that. And then, no sooner did I had those few thoughts about him, who comes screeching onto the block where my brother's barber shop at? I'm like, man, you can smell the rubber he just burnt, right? Cool. Gives me a pound and a hug. Gives my brother a pound and a hug. There we were having a couple of beers together, and all that. And Rich, he only had one beer, one beer for him, while me and my brother sip a couple of Coronas, getting our day right. You know, it's the end of his day, the start of my day. I was going to take these guys to the dojo. I wanted them to check it out with me. So here we are, packed up in <sighs> Richie's Civic. You know, I had to climb in that damn thing. You know how little that damn car is? My big six foot five 
And yes, I was weightier back then. I was about a good 300, whatever. Okay, so there he is. Richie on the driver's seat and my brother Vlad in the back seat. <laughs> I laugh because my brother is just so cool and calm back there. Now, again, this Dynamo Richie, he has to be extreme with everything. You understand me? The music. I mean, the man got a whole back. I mean, my brother is literally sitting on speakers back there in the back seat. As he's throwing on the music, the sh** is not even on five. The sh** is going... <laughs> Damn, dude. How much bass do you need in your car? Damn. So, <laughs> no. He, he spared me, you know what I mean? He kept it low, kind of. We're still damn loud, you know what I mean? But mind you, and I want y'all to keep this in mind, okay? We're leaving North Bergen, New Jersey. Now, North Bergen, New Jersey, that ain't too close. I mean, it's close to the city, but not that close. Not to get there in some damn... Listen to me, y'all. Listen to me when I say this. This is no exaggeration. But it's crazy shit. He insists on putting his foot down on the damn accelerator, bro. Listen, y'all. Like, like, yo. This, this dude went from zero to 60 in, in what seemed like five seconds. And he's pushing, yo, through red lights and all that. And my brother all calm in the back. And he's going crazy. And I'm like, I'm on my seat like, huh? yo, this dude is. Yo, listen, man. I don't know what kind of engine he had, but the shit was noisy as fuck. Talk about some damn. This shit was humming. This man was pushing it. Yo, here we are running the streets of New Jersey to get into the damn highway, right? Boom. We get on the highway. I think it was the NJ. I, I forget what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, I think, what, what's that? Route 4 we ended up on? And he's zipping. <laughs> he's going left. He's going right. He's passing cars. Dusting them. Bro, some stupid motherfucker had the nerve to want to challenge Rich. So Rich was like, all right. Bro, this put on a fucking bachata song loudly. Bing, ding, 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 ding. And then he steps on the ding, oh, fun. ass. And bro, all you saw was smoke. You didn't see Duke after that. Dude that challenged Rich, you didn't see him anymore. All you saw was white smoke. Vlad in the back, chilling out. I think he was grinning because he sees me bugging out. He sees me bugging out. And I'm like, yo, why are you going so fast, bro? Why? Why do you have to go this fast? Why? Listen, folks, no exaggeration. We left North Bergen, right? North Bergen. We made it to Manhattan, Washington Heights, leaping off the George Washington Bridge in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. This takes me back to my guy T. He used to drive us all from Brooklyn and would leave Brooklyn and end up in the Bronx in 10 minutes. Now, I don't know how the f*** these guys do this, these damn speed demons, but thank y'all for sparing us our lives. Here we were. Here we are at the stoplight, right, on Broadway, 178. I'm catching my breath. Vlad, he looking bored and shit, but he's smiling. He's smiling and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because he's seen me bugging out and Richie, forget about it. His focus is retarded. And I don't mean to use that word like that, but you have to understand, bro. Dude was focused, focused. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> when he put his foot down, once that light turned green, we ended up on the cross Bronx in two minutes. Bro, why'd he do that? We had to go through the street. I don't know why. He, he could have just went directly through the way, taking you directly into the Cross Bronx. But no, he didn't do that. He didn't do that. You know why he didn't do that? He said to me, you needed a breath of fresh air. Take a breather. That's the only reason why I stopped. I'm like, God damn. I believe you. I believe you. Could you slow down a little bit? But no, he ends up on the damn Bronx. Uh, what's that? The, um, okay. A anyway. Um, we're taking the highway. I know we're just going uptown. We're just 
in an uptown. I think he hit, he might have hit the major D because we had to do the damn um Hudson thing. So I think he hit the major D. Bruh, why we make it all the way upstate in 20 minutes? And tell me why we had the miracle of not encountering no kind of police. My guys, today, this particular day, we came like five cars deep. Me, Rich, and Vlad in one car, a couple of my partners in their cars. We were all on the way to this dojo on the Hudson. And uh, no, I'm not going to say the name of it, so you can forget about it. Yeah, so there we were. It was about 10 of us. Um, I was the smallest one. I got the nerve to be... Si no, no, I wasn't the smallest one. The one guy that was the smallest one, he was actually in the best shape out of all of us, to be honest, because he was like, okay, he was 6'1", weighed about 195 pounds. The only one that weighed less than 200 pounds, let alone 300 pounds. Let me see. My guy, Rhino, his big old 6'10". 485 pounds, but that's my god. And then the sensei, who is a master of crime, god. Pudgy little white guy. Like, he wasn't even that tall. Like, he was not even, what, 5'6", five, 5'7", five, at the most? Bushy white hair, bushy white beard. Looked like Santa Claus, straight up. But this guy was a master at the Krav Maga, right? If you know, you know. So there he was, teaching us all simple things. Me being 6'5", at maybe 300, maybe a little more, I was one, the littlest one, because my guy Rhino, and then he brought his man with him, and he's another seven-footer. You know what I'm saying? 500 pounds. I got the nerve to be tall, and these motherfuckers is roaching me. So there he was. Uh, how many times am I going to say that? We're in a circle, right? About a good 10 of us. And, of course, Sensei gotta be calling me. Why? He loves me. He loves bumping me. He knows I'm real good with pain like that. I'm a dynamo with him. And um, I'll be teaching him a thing or two about things too as well. I'll be surprising him. I'm so damn quick with it. You know, I'm Sutton. He calls me. He's the one that started to call me Sutton. So we're doing moves and... Okay, put your hands up. Okay. And he's showing me a technique where he's throwing a punch and he's showing me how to like get out of the way of it. So we're doing this together for a little while. <laughs> and then he's calling one of the big guys to come do it. There we were. He's swinging and I'm moving. Trying not to get hit by this fucking mastodon. He's swinging with, whoa, you hear that shit? And I'm running away. And then I got caught sleeping and I got hit in my back. Boom. Fell to the floor. Boom. Damn. And of course, he picks me up. You all right? I'm good. Dust myself off. Keep it moving. Ah, so Richie and Vlad, they watching this and they like, damn, bro. To be honest, we never see you bup like that. Now, my brother, he knows a thing or two. You see, he and I and my other brother, Oscar, huh, I'm not even going to tell you the many times we've played Lucha Libre. And this was before we knew it was wrestling. And I ain't even going to mention how many backyard fights I had. Woo! Too many. But anyways, I was good. I mean, you know, I wasn't exactly super fit, but I made a steal when it comes to pain. I got a nice threshold for it. A nice wherewithal, if you will. But here comes this seven foot mom. <laughs> like, why I gotta fight these dudes? Why don't you? Hey, 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 Delancey, why don't you take your skinny ass and fight? Yeah, sure. Why not? He's in there, skinny self versus this big mastodon. Hate to say it, though. Little man ran circles around the big guy. <laughs> and he had all the speed. It was amazing. So the sensei put me and him together to do it. And it was fun because here he was, the smallest, and I am like number two smallest. And these two little guys among these big people <laughs> just dancing around this, this circle inside this dojo. And I'm pretty sure I impressed my bro, you know what I'm saying? And Richie, forget about it. He was just laughing the entire time. Oh, man. <laughs> so many memories about this day. After all that was said and done, after everybody got their work on, on I mean, everybody was pushing their weights. Everybody was sparring, using the ring, bouncing up and down the ring, you know, because a lot of us love wrestling. We did that too. 
taking bumps, you know, doing moves on each other, clotheslines, headlocks, ankle locks, stretching each other out, you know, not hurting each other though, you know, we gotta do this because we was working at places like on Tremont and the Bronx, forget about it, anywhere you work in the Bronx, there's a potential for some hazards, you know what I'm saying, so that's all we were doing, we was just getting ready, getting prepared for whatever might come, and then, you know, the sensei be making us jog so we could build up our footwork. And it makes sense. The more and more we did it, you feel that we could just leap and move, you know. That's the idea. And I know I impressed many a person just being sutton and ending up right next to somebody in the blink of an eye. And uh, <laughs> I had a lot of fun in that dojo. Too bad that um, a major storm came and brought that whole house down, bro. One of those powerful storms where a damn tree fell on top of the motherfucking house and you know that was it for that little place on the Hudson and you know as I reminisce about it man I I do feel a tear coming down I do because it was a couple of times we went up there and, and cars deep man it felt so good you know being amongst brotherhood and camaraderie each and every time I took my brother and his friend there that one time, but, you know, there was like a couple other times I went dolo or, or, or with other friends of mine in their cars, going all the way upstate and ish, doing what we do. And reminiscing about it, how can you not have a tinge of melancholy? Uh, why? Why wouldn't you have at least a tinge of it? You know what I'm saying? Just like with other memories that come and go, it's just, you know, it's, I guess it's the nature of the business, as I like to say. So with that tale being told, I'd like to thank y'all for another adventure with me. I featured my brother Vlad, who I hope will record with me very soon. And um, big shout to my boy Weiwei, Big Rich, friend in the family, who is family. And thank you, brother. You always show me a great time, man. you my brother, too. It's so tough. You know, we family, and I love you. I love you all like cooked food. Facts. And now, let me... Share with y'all where you can find me at, Instagram or X. Do people still call it Twitter? Yeah, X. You can even go to Threads. Find me at RGMC2407. I got a YouTube channel. I got a Facebook group. All of it under the same handle at RGMC2407. Check out my reading channel, The United Ronin Networks, and let me read you a book today. You can also tune in to The Art of Bounce on its own YouTube channel, as well as through Force Fed Digital, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, as well as Amazon Music. We ain't hard to find. Hey, find us any day. We always got something to say. Folks. If you see a bouncer, tell him thanks. Show him a little bit of love because he's doing his damnest with the little bit of money he's being paid to make sure you guys have a great time. Be safe. <laughs> <laughs>